Hello everyone, I am Purushattam and I make videos related to quotes. So in this video, let's talk about the situation currently in Poland about international students and immigration in general. So let's start the video. The thing is currently, be it Poland, be it Italy, be it France, be it England, like across Europe, be it Netherlands, be it Germany, everybody have got strict towards immigration. Everywhere, uh, far right has woke up. And just because of this, immigration is getting restricted. Doesn't matter, Germany, Belgium, like these two places in Europe, they make a lot of European Union law and they force this on Poland. But Poland has been always conservative, doesn't matter which side of the party is coming. And since the government have changed, we thought that it will be easier for uh, European Union and more tourists will come, economy will boom and all these things. Somewhere it, it is all happening in a way, but just inside you and inside Poland. And anything outside you, Poland is restricting them. Let's say just because of Russia propaganda and Belarus, together they try to infiltrate the illegal immigrants inside Poland. But Poland has stricted their borders and they have also implemented this law where they can shoot at sight. If you've seen on the Polish border uh, fence area or the border areas, they will shoot you uh, with the guns and with rifles. Soldiers can do this just because some Polish soldiers were getting killed by spearhead, like they were throwing from the Belarusian side of the border and the soldiers got hit at the back and it was sharp. So soldier, soldiers just died, Polish soldiers just died. And just because of all this, as they are getting more strict, laws are changing but there is one video of one polish minister i think i can tell you about this uh, and i can put the link in the description like how he's saying that if you are illegal in poland and you are trying to cross the border illegally you will be, you will get killed this was the exact word or close to it i can show you and i can share the link of this video in the description and you can see what is going on inside poland regarding this immigration stuff like that and just because of this, uh, there are so many changes that can happen. Like, let's say if we talk about students in Poland who come and study here and there were stats that more than 300,000 students came uh, and like half of it, like 118,000 only got graduated. And imagine the rest of the numbers until 300,000 uh, immigrants who came to study they just vanished across Europe or they never reached their second year. So these are the stats that uh, are not by me. It's by some news agencies, uh, websites where I read all these. I can put link for that also. So that just to confirm it, you can read those articles, uh, news articles, and you will know about it. But it is very important right now to rethink if you're trying to come to Poland to study you have to do your thorough research and give all your documents what they are asking if you somewhere not fitting let's say more than 80 percent or around 80 percent in the visa application form or visa application document list you have slight chances to make it here because they are strict and they are rejecting a lot of visas so why they are rejecting the visas these are the diplomatic uh let's say uh, uh, agenda of, of, of po Pol Polish government and their ministers, foreign ministry, and they are trying to restrict legal immigrants as well in a way so that they can, let's say, focus on the illegal immigrants who are already here or they can curb it somehow. So that's what is going inside Poland right now. And I had to make this video just to give this message clearly to everybody. And I'm making this video in English just because I know that not just people from India come to Poland, people from many countries. I will not take a name. It's many country, you know, and I will link in description a Schengen news article also like it is run by the 
let's say it's a it's a community right so somebody from european union who uh, runs this page you know from europe it's a original authentic website of european union for schengen information i will link that uh, news article about how, why poland are rich or let's say how many visas poland rejected that article as well you can read that also so so i am providing some resources go through them and think if you are planning to come to poland and there is new notification policy like they are just making it hard so if somebody is trying to come to poland they have to really you know be uh, at the top of the let's say eligibility criteria you cannot be at bottom by just fixing few of the criteria and few you can just cross it uh, just because it's easy to come to poland no it now it is not it's like they earlier they were accepting people without ielts like international english language testing system and now i think it is mandatory that's what government have asked to the private universities as well not just public and they have let's say stricter policy in terms of finances you have to show your finances and you have to pay the tuition fees almost of one year please hear that again like you have to pay the fees of one year if you are paying just for one semester it's like half of it you know like the tuition costs around 2000 euros to 4000 euros for a year so if you are paying let's say only 1000 euro if it is 2000 euro but probably it will be crossing 3000 euros 500 something like that for a year and if you are paying just 1000 euro which means around it's for a one semester and if you are paying this fees it's very less so consider all these things if you are going to apply in 2025 to study in poland this is very crucial information that i'm sharing in this video and i hope you have watched until here and if you have i think you will get some let's say clarifications some resources to go through and and decide and think before you come to poland because right now i don't know the government will change in let's say 2 to 3 years from now because elections was just last year so please bear in mind that it is not going to be easy journey if you are trying to come to poland in february and take when it's let's say slight or 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 let's say this february intake is always with less uh, quota for visas for students you know because october intake is when every university is recruiting all right so better try to go to other countries that is nearby poland if you if you have a low budget i will not recommend any country just in this video because i am no one to guide you for your life for your studies you know because it's your aspiration if you are going for learning if you are going for exposure just go in any country where you think that economy will do well the one criteria all right and where immigrants are welcomed if they are not welcome please bear in mind your long term goals will be affected you know so make the right choice do the thorough research and then come to poland so this was it for this video guys i try to sh wrap it up less than 10 minutes video because i don't like to make long videos and i don't make videos to get views you know longer videos i i make quality content and i want to surpass the information even if i'm helping let's say one person or two person i don't mind i want to help even though knowingly unknowingly i i would like to help so this was it for this video guys consider subscribing if you really like it and you can support me somehow there are links you can find uh, for buy me coffee or book one to one call or buy a few of my books see you in the next one peace out